So this idea in Lent of giving up things is really big, and you'll hear people say it a lot. Oh, this year I'm giving up candy, this year I'm giving up sweets in general, or I'm giving up soda, giving up cigarettes, whatever it may be, oftentimes that's where we, where we go, is what are you giving up for Lent? And this idea of sacrifice is seen as it needs to, to hurt a little bit. Right, that that thing that, that that pinches a little bit. That's how we understand sacrifice, and it's not totally wrong, but it misses the real crucial point of what a sacrifice is. A sacrifice is something is an action that makes it sacred. It's to be set apart, to be set for God. When in the early biblical accounts we hear of. Cain and Abel making sacrifices to God. They were taking of their own resources. We had Cain taking from his crops in the field, and we had Abel taking from his own herd and offering it to God. It wasn't just about giving up something that they wanted, but it's also a recognition that everything that they had kind of came from God in the first place. It's making sacred what was part of their ordinary life and their existence. But there's also a sense of sacrifice that is, I'm putting aside something that I want now for some greater goal, for some greater end. That if I sacrifice a meal now and it could help me in some other way in the future. Or I could sacrifice by not buying this candy, but what is the, the other end of the question? What is the, the greater goal in that? Well, maybe the money that I saved could go to my favorite charity. Or maybe if we give up meat for Lent, we can take that money that we save and give it to somebody we know that needs it. Or we can reflect on the fact that there are environmental concerns regarding the consumption of meat, as Pope Francis himself recently talked about. And so we can look at our giving up in that little pinch that we feel as part of some greater goal. And that ultimately is what sacrifice is about. We say that all the time. You know, Kids don't like doing homework. It's a sacrifice to go home and to, to read and to do your homework. But the greater goal is your education, is your success in learning. Uh, most people don't like to get up early in the morning and go running. Over time, they may learn to like it, but at first they're doing it because they're sacrificing their comfort for now, of now for their long-term health. And the same is true in our spiritual lives. When, we give up things. It's not necessarily that it's bad to give up things, but we often don't ask that question of, well, how does this make it sacred? What is the sacred part of the giving up? So maybe if you're giving up cigarettes this year, also think about what it means to have your body as a temple of the Lord and to reflect on the witness that maybe you're giving to your family or your children by giving it up so that the act of giving it up becomes a divine act. It becomes something sacred as it inspires others to treat their own bodies as a temple.